ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू ईयर सेवन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फाइव बिफोर आई स्टार्ट जैम सिटी प्लीज रिलीज द चैप्टर ऑन टाइम इट्स फाइव ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग आई एम यूज टू डूइंग दिस मच अर्लियर सो इट वॉज वेरी वियर्ड वेन आई वोक अप एट टू वन ए एम दैन टू ए एम दैन थ्री ए एम एंड थिंग जस्ट वॉज एंड आउट is it just a country thing is it does it not release on time in india anymore anyway uh, it is pretty late so obviously now this video will be a bit pretty late too but i'm just glad the chapter is out i was just a little scared that we wouldn't get anything today so tell us about about seeing the ghostly swan in the last chapter at the end of the last chapter we saw the swan patronus it was very pretty now we need to go tell tell what about it and i kind of forgot what happened after that yes there was a attachment for this chapter i don't know if i read it yeah the christmas decorations are uh, on the school now we also have the snowy backgrounds it's very pretty actually some areas that didn't have snowy backgrounds also have snowy backgrounds now for example uh, hagrid's garden although you can't have a date in a snowy background that's kind of sad to me I woke up very late because of the fact that chapter didn't come out, so I fell back asleep, and I was um, not very happy that I slept in that much. Do we have any skeleton? Madam Stout sent me to find some. Looks like we need more blood replenishing potion. Better start brewing some. Does blood replenishing potion automatically detect what type of blood type? the patient needs like if you have a positive then and if you drink like if you if you there are different blood types right a positive b positive ab plus ab positive so if someone needs a positive does the blood replenishing potion automatically detect that and replenish their body with a positive blood these are the kind of questions you should be asking about magic <laughs> please don't run in the alchemy room you could get hurt yeah yeah okay sorry 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 hi tybot Tell me, I saw the ghostly white swan. It, I was in the Janus Thicky ward, and I saw it out of the corner of my. It was not the corner of your eye. You looked right at it, you stupid child. <laughs> you did, so I wasn't imagining things. I knew you weren't imagining things. I noticed something else about the swan too. It's not a ghost at all. If it's not a ghost, then what is it? It's a patronus, a full corporeal patronus. And they meant to protect against dementors and lethal colds. Why are such patrons at Saint Mungo's? And why does this happen to be the same as my mum's animagus form? I don't think this is a coincidence, right? Not when we're so close to the anniversary of my mum's death. Let's talk about it, Talbot, and see if we can answer some of those questions. Somebody could have just cast a patron as like, what is the problem about that? I will say that uh, people also cast patronus is in the Harry Potter universe and they want to show you something or lead you somewhere. Like uh, I think uh, Harry has a stag patronus that he uses to lead his past self to the to something I forgot what it is in the last movie I just remember the music because I liked it. And and uh, no who's wait who no who's patronus was that? No that wasn't Harry's Was it Snape's door? Was it Harry's stag? I don't remember. I am not making a fool of myself, am I? I don't know things very well. There was some deer kind of patronus. So basically, there was a stag or a doe. I don't remember. And there was also the patronus that carried Kingsley Shacklebolt's message on the Ministry at Will's wedding. And uh, what else was there? Um. Is it just me or did my light flicker just right now? I know there are more examples of patronuses. I can't just I just can't remember them. If there are no dementors or lethal force to take my ghost, then the patronus must be protecting something else or someone else. Well, it looks like it's up to us to figure out what that patron patronus is protecting. Us? Are you going to help me? Why? Excuse me, we are friends. Why wouldn't I? There should be a third option for people who are dating him. It should be locked for me probably. <coughs> I'm going to help because they're friends and friends help each other out. Thank you. I'm not used to having people to rely on. It's nice. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome, Talbot. Now, our first course of action will be determining what the patronus is trying to protect. That's a good idea. If we don't know what it's protecting, we may not be able to narrow down who cast it. Exactly. 
The first step in solving this mystery is go back to where the stone patronus was spotted. Janasiki, which means we're headed to the Janasiki ward. Let's go, Talbot. Uh, can we? Are we supposed to talk to Zenitzeev again? Oh, by the way, Zenitzeev gave me a bit too many feels when we talked to her in the last chapter. Like, like I think she is going to be the third R member who might get charmed into helping Sarahi. I say the third R member because the first one is Rake Pick, the second one is Adelaide. And the third one might just be Zenitzi. Oh, I have timer toffees, right? Yay! As of now, I actually have four more timer toffees. I should probably use them. Uh, four simple ones and two golden ones. Where did I get those from? I don't even remember getting those. Uh, like, yes, is Zenitzi. Yeah, she's just sleeping. L let that. Let, let her. Let her. Let her. Oh, 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 and it's still sleeping like she just passed out. Somebody, at least make her comfy. Oh, hello. I didn't expect to see you here, mister. It's quite... It's quite time for this ward. What are you two doing here? I do not see... The problem with telling the truth. There is a Patronus. We're investigating the sighting of the Swan Patronus, sir. This is the last place I saw it, so I thought there might be clues here. We want to know what it's trying to protect. A Swan Patronus? Don't be ridiculous. There's nothing like that in the Janistiki ward. We just want to take a look around, sir. I promise you'll be quiet while we search. Fine, fine. Just lock the door behind you when you leave. And don't touch anything you're not supposed to. Fair enough. I have to go deliver gifts to some other patients. Yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. That healer was the rudest person we've met so far here. I wonder why. That was rude? I think that's just strict, strictly prof. I would just say that's strictly professional. I wouldn't say that's rude. Have you ever actually seen Rude, child? We don't have time to think about that. We've got to figure out what that Swan Patronus is protecting. Of course, let's split up. I'll search over there and you can look over there for clues. I'll search over there, you look over there. Uh, could you be more vague, child? Yeah, no, MC is still not comfortable. I understandably so. You would not be comfortable around the <coughs> I think the Patronus was protecting someone rather than something. But what would it be protecting? There are no Dementors here. You saw the Patronus in the alchemy room, so why was it here? Nothing under here except some gum wrappers. Honey, calm down. Let her sleep. We didn't see anything related to the Patronus, but you had a good point about Zenitzeev. There's no one here guarding her from her except perhaps the Patronus itself. It is a protective charm. That would not work. Since she worked with that, she may spill that secret if her memory is restored. Perhaps I wouldn't put it. Perhaps I wouldn't put it past them to try silencing someone who could ruin their plans. Seems that R is always wreaking havoc wherever they go. What could possibly be worth ruining so many lies? I'll never forgive them. Talbot, sorry, sir. I'm not cross with you. I'm just sick of our interfering in our lives. Thank you for being sick of that. I'm glad I brought the only one. There are others, of course, I'm just saying. And I, I don't want to lose anyone else to them or any other dark wizard cabal. I can see where you're coming from, Talbot. Like Yara told me earlier, all your feelings are valid. Thank you. I just wish we knew more about our plans and how far they're willing to go. They're willing to go far enough to kill. And discard people also. I am not sure about their plans, but I bet my brother Jacob has an idea of how far they would go. His knowledge may help us understand if the Patronus is here to protect someone or something from R. Oh, we get to see Jacob again, yes! Jacob, I swear to God, you better be in pajamas now! Hi, Kiara! One of the medivisors asked me to deliver some owl messages for the patients. Oh, I hope you remember to lock the Janisiki ward when you left. Yes, son? He probably did. Off screen or something, I don't know. Someone hit me with that blasty jelly X curse. My legs are all wobbly. I mean, what did you expect to happen? Oh, Penny's here. Hi. Wait, who left the balloons? Who left the flowers? Who sent that? <coughs> I may have to make up a few heads. Oh, who sent the hippogriff plushie? That's adorable. I bet it was Barnaby. I bet Barnaby brought the hippogriff plushie. Hi Sarahi, I stayed with Chad, but I have to deliver the rest of these great well gifts. Ah, dang it! I thought the hip I thought the plushie was for him. 
Madam Stout told me it's very important that I get these gifts to the rest of the patients. Why is there a get well soon CD? There is no nothing that can play a CD. There is nothing that can play a CD in Chet Buggles. What do you expect to happen? How many people have said you get well gifts, Jacob? That's quite a few there. Just a few people. Mada even sent me this weird talking fish. It's nice to have the support of friends. That is adorable. So I have read. Okay. Head cannon. Barbie we said that hippo get a plushie. That is so cute. And I wouldn't put it past Sarahi to give him flowers because I am child. I will give people I love flowers. <clears throat> You're not here to talk about gifts though. What is it that you need, Sarahi? Well, first of all, you have a bit too many gifts. Where did they all come from? Which it is nice, but still. And yeah, secondly, yes, about art. I wanted to ask you some questions about art. Primarily, how far they'd go to protect themselves. I need to know if they would try to eliminate an ally. I am surprised you would ask this question, considering what happened to Rick. Why do you need to know that, Pip? There's a Patronus roaming around. At first, we thought it might have to do with Talbot's mum. But then we started to wonder, perhaps it could be protecting Zenithi from our. I realized you have first-hand experience with how far I would go, so I came to you right away. Unfortunately, that's true, and I don't like you getting involved with this, Rahi. Do we have a choice? It's important to me. I'm learning about being a healer at Saint Mungo's, and I'm supposed to help Zenith. If she's in danger, then I really need to tell, tell need you to tell me how exactly. Exactly how far R might go, I can't read. But this is only the first error I made in reading today, so I'm doing well. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. Listen closely. Okay, seriously, how far they're willing to go? Why does this dude keep hurting me? Go away. We take everyone's safety here. We're quite seriously, there's no need to worry. I mean, it is a hospital. I'm not surprised. I think I may have something in this stack of letters for you. There's a letter for me. My legs are beautiful. Beautiful legs. <laughs> I don't even know where half these gifts came from. Hopefully not from R. <laughs> that would that would that would be a that 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 would be extremely ridiculous. I'm sorry. He just said R is looking to cut any weaknesses from their ranks, and I'm immediately reminded of Head Girl and Drake Pick, and R cut her off purely because she went soft for Sarahi. I wonder what this could mean for Mirula. She did try to leave us. Oh yeah, she sent that letter. It's so surprising that Dark Lord Kabai doesn't care about their own members. I don't even understand why people join at this point. Seems like Ar isn't particularly loyal to their own. Obviously, what did what were you expecting, child? Don't forget, Rick was a part of Ar, and she left me in a portrait for years. You were technically not a part of Ar at that point, and she saw you as a liability. At least the canon one. If Zenith Sea recovers her memories, would I try to get rid of her? I think they'll try to get rid of her regardless of if she uh, gets her memory back or not. <coughs> This man is still not in pajamas, by the way. <sighs> Sounds like Car would go quite far to protect themselves. Mm-hmm. Definitely. As soon as you aren't serving a purpose for her, they cut you out. Mm-hmm. They'll do anything to further whatever their plan is, and that includes getting rid of former, getting rid of former allies. Like I said, this is what happened with Head Cannon Rakepick. She was useful, but as soon as I realized that Rakepick was going soft for Sarahi, they cut her immediately. Same is kind of happening to Murula. She's going soft for her friends, which is good actually. But now they haven't cut her off yet, but they definitely will at some point. They'll do anything to further whatever their plan is, and that includes getting rid of former allies. Just look at what happened to Rakepick. No one tried to get her out of Azkaban after you sent her there. I know that's why I'm wondering what will happen to Murula since she tried to leave them. I don't think you should trust Murula. She's too unpredictable. I want to trust her though. Uh, my favorite idiot. She's my favorite idiot. She's been helpful lately. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't have found about the Saki scroll. Just because she was helpful once doesn't mean she's trustworthy. I mean, Jacob at this point also know that Sarai is considering allying with Rake Pick again and also Adelaide, which is someone he doesn't know. So I think it's pretty okay for him to be extremely suspicious, Sarai. What are you doing? He's a member of our. Do you really think you can trust her? Yes, 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 yes. I do trust her, Jacob. She's been helping us. I think there may be some good in her. This will come to bite me in the ass. I swear to God. <clears throat> I think you're making a mistake trusting her. She's just going to hurt you. She's hurt me plenty. 
Listen, I just want you to be careful, Pip. I don't want anything to happen to you. Sorry to interrupt. I've got a raw letter for you from Mirula. She wants me to meet her. At, she wants me to meet her at Hogwarts to talk. Look at how stone face. MC is so stone faced. Like, oh my god, her eyes are just screaming. I am not sure that's a good idea, Sarahi. Remember what I said about Mirula. I trust Mirula Jacob, and she is right on time. Perhaps she'll have some of the answers I need. It's perfectly fine for Jacob to be sus of what my decisions are. Sarahi is making some particularly crazy decisions at this point in her life, and um, I'm just head cannoning that they don't come to bite her in the ass. Head cannons are the way to go in this game. Eh, hey, no, look at this story area. I love this look. Good of you to make it silvers. What are you doing in your robes? You asked to see me, Mirula, so what did you want to talk about? Mm. Just wanted to try practicing some wandless magic. Never know when it could be useful. You asked me to leave St. Mungo's just so you could practice wandless magic with me? My time there is a school project set up by Dumbledore. I can't just leave because you want to duel. I think there are more important things to discuss, don't you? Mm. Practice one less magic with me first, and then we'll see if we have more time, more to talk about. Rula, <laughs> that's the deal, Silver. So get in your dueling stance and let's practice. I would turn down dueling practice from the best witcher Hogwarts. Ha! <laughs> she said that so many times. It's got. I have gotten into the habit of saying it. Spoilers for me, Topia. Um, you guys at this point must know that I made Marula the Dark Lord. Which means when we defeat Dark Lord Marula, she turns back into the human me, and uh, she's actually a worker at a banana factory. <laughs> banana factory. Okay, so I just I I just actually finished Mutopia recently, the main game. Uh, playing the post game right now, and uh, <clears throat> first of all, Darkest Lord Rake pick. We we interrupt Mutopia to bring you the opening to tell it up. What is this? <laughs> I loved it. And secondly, um, Marula, I am the best banana maker in Beatopia. Snide, I love it. This still doesn't work. I need to remember to focus, or else my wondrous magic will not work. This I haven't practiced this at all, actually. How did that work? You haven't practiced at all. Come on, Silvers, at least make this practice interesting for me. You do not get to do. <laughs> oh my God, Marula is just mirroring Rake, pig, isn't she? Because Rekpek was the one who used this animation. I miss Rekpek. No one has tried to get her out of Azkaban. She is not. I mean, I, I, Jacob's not wrong. No one has tried to. I'm just a little upset about that. Uh, that being said, uh, Rek. Uh, in my head, Captain Rekpek got broken out on the way to Azkaban by Adelaide. And uh, it's not because Adelaide wanted to. It's because Adelaide just needed Rekpek's help because she's not the best duelist. Game hanged. It's much more fun to practice with someone who can actually fight back. She's not wrong. That's true. Stop mirroring Greg Pickman. I miss her. You make me you couldn't make me miss her more than I already do. Also the game just crashed and I literally had and my heart literally just dropped because I thought my recording corrupted. I checked and no it is the recording did register. It's on the computer somewhere. I found it. I was so scared that it got corrupted. Stop mirroring. Why does the game keep crashing? Okay, the game has already crashed twice. I'm just going to skip through this section because I think this section is making the game crash. I finished that section. Game, do not crash, please. The pulse. He is still stronger than me in the wondrous magic. Be a gracious loser. Be a so loser. What if I should throw a temper tantrum? Should I throw a temper tantrum or not? I know what being a sore loser is like, so I'm going to be a gracious one just because I want to know what is a gracious loser anyway. Congratulations, Silver. 
congratulations on winning bro oh, that's a gracious picture god damn it thank you i wasn't expecting you to be so nice about it there's got to be another reason why you invited me you said you wanted to talk not practice <coughs> something big is about to happen at saint mungo's that's a bit cryptic you know there's been a swan patronus that's appeared as a sign of protection at saint mungo's patronus what are you blathering on about it may be related to war especially since they were also at the ministry of magic Perhaps everything is connected, and perhaps that's why you know something is going to happen. What? You think I've been brushing up on my divination skills? That I can predict future now? That's a laugh. Rula, please, this isn't a laughing matter. You called me here. You made that cryptic warning. All I'll say is, what's going to happen in Saint Mungo's is also no laughing matter. Let's get back to the hospital. They're going to need you. I mean, Rula is just full of surprises, but no time to sort it out now. Whether I can trust her or not, I need to get back to Saint Mungo's. I need to warn Jacob that something is about to happen. Please don't crash. When the game crashes, it just freaks me out so much. Because I thought, oh, dude, the recording didn't get corrupted, did it? Because I only have this one save file. I, I cannot. I, I cannot repeat a chapter if I lose it. I have to see four more patients on this floor and then ten on the next floor, and the work of a healer is never done. <laughs> I can see that. Welcome back, Srahi. I hope the chat went well. This is okay. Uh, you're still here. Why has nobody able been able to angelify my ex? Should I be worried? Yeah, that should be done by now. This is simple healing, isn't it? Or the stop with your child labor. <clears throat> So, did you find out anything from Marula? She said she just wanted to practice wondrous magic, but afterwards she gave me this cryptic warning. She said something big is going to happen at Saint Mungo's, and that it wasn't a laughing matter. Although she didn't admit to knowing about the patronus. That is cryptic. I wonder if she was trying to keep you from the hospital while I was working. I know you said you trusted her before. I still do. But did you talk with her at all once in your mind? No, 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 no. I trust her, Jacob. I know you don't, but I still do. She didn't have. To warn us about this, but she did. You're right. She didn't have to tell us, which makes me wonder why she would. She even has to have a motive. Fantastic. The both of you are here. I have some good news. What? Good news? Is he better now? Can he leave the hospital? Not that I think he has to. I'm just saying. This one is just crying. What happened? I don't like when people cry. What happened? Do you need a hug? Also, if I can't click anything, why would you bring me there? Could use a bit of good news after all I've been through. All right, what's the good news? Mr. Jacob Silvers, you are officially discharged from Saint Mungo's. Oh yeah, he's good. Huh? Oh my God! The electricity event. What a horrible, painful experience that was. If you are seeing the last five minutes of footage, that is because I just spent two hours trying to recover that because my computer turned off in the middle. What a painful, horrible experience! I spent two hours recovering that. I had to scour YouTube and the Google for people who told me to use this, use the command prompt. Thank you. Who is this person who helped me? This man, Green Box. Thank you. Your step-by-step -step tutorial about how to use the command prompt in FFmpeg to recover a, a corrupted video pretty much just saved my life right now. Thank you. I am joining my hands in prayer. Thank you so much. <sighs> I have to restart this. Energy part, which is fine. At least my video is safe. Please, if you appreciated my attempts to recover lost footage, please like this video. That was a very painful experience that I will not be repeating. Moral of the story is: do not record at 5:30 a.m. in the morning. This always happens at 5:30 a.m. in the morning, and I completely forgot about it. It's almost 8 a.m. I have been at this for like two, three hours. Jesus.
we'll talk more about more about later okay i just like uh, i do not actually know how much footage that it was that got corrupted so it was only after i recovered it that i realized that this entire ordeal was for 6 and a half minutes of footage just like the other day no not even the other day i think just yesterday i was talking to one of my professors about uh, oh which might be i need to submit my homework also <laughs> yeah dude I do, I, my homework is finished. I just need to submit it on the Google forum. Yeah, I, I remember just talking to uh, one of my professors about this. Uh, you know, the video editing prof- professor. You don't know. I'm just saying uh, about this. Like how I have to wake up so early in the morning. Yeah, I did wake up early in the morning. The chapter did not come out at least to 3 a.m. and then I fell back asleep because I am a dingleberry and doofus. Anyway, I'm just going to keep ranting at this point. I'm just so upset about this. I'm just happy it's done but I am very upset about this experience. This has been the absolute worst recording session. I swear to god. I uh, okay, I learned something new. I learned how to recover my MP my corrupted fu- video files. I can't even sit straight anymore. It just uh. <coughs> Check up did you hear that? You can be discharged from said pogos. You have no idea how much effort it took to just get that one sentence out of my mouth. It will be so nice to get out of this bed. Yeah, they didn't even give you pajamas. Jacob, are you all right? <laughs> Now nah, he's just laughing. He looks extremely cursed. I recovered six minutes of footage for this. What's going on? Why won't he stop laughing? Even she doesn't look cursed. She doesn't look cursed. Why does Jacob look cursed? Okay, no, wait, no, I was wrong. She looks cursed too. Penny. Oh dear, this isn't good. Let me go. We have the creepy music. Guys, I did not recover six and a half minutes of footage. Only to see you laughing at me. Oh no! Uh. Sahi, what's going on? Why are they all laughing? I am not sure, Kiara. Madam Stout, can you hear me? You could at least nod. She can't answer us. This isn't good. She can't nod. Never mind. If she can't stop laughing, then she probably can't work. And if Madam Stout can't work, then all the operations at Saint Mungo's are going to come to a halt. Chapters over. Seven more minutes. I spent two hours recovering six and a half minutes of footage, only to record for seven and a half more minutes. And four minutes of that was just me complaining about what a painful experience that was. I'm done with this chapter. That was an that was such a painful experience, just having to recover six and a half minutes of footage. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. You people, please appreciate my two hours. of attempting to recover 6 and 1/2 minutes of footage which was just me dueling with Marula and talking to Jacob at least the beginning of talking to Jacob honestly i don't even think you people would have minded because you are very nice people you honestly wouldn't even have minded a little bit of missing footage but i mind i mind because i like to keep the hogwarts mystery footage for myself also works for screenshots and editing videos later <sighs> that is an experience i will not be repeating moral of the story is Don't sleep in. I am a do first. Do not sleep in. You absolute idiot moron. Wake up early in the morning like you're supposed to. So two hours of uh, okay. So I recovered. Uh, spent two hours to uh, recover six and a half minutes of footage to record for another ten minutes. And now uh, now the chapter is over. I am going to go. I'm going to get some tea because all this flitting about on my computer trying to figure out what is happening has made me hungry. If you people enjoyed this video and. They appreciate my suffering in trying to get my footage back please like this video and at least comment at the very least please congratulate me for being able to recover my footage come on guys this was the first time i did something to that extent using the windows command prompt i am not a hacker person and i am not a person who can code very well i had to look at it step by step anyway before this rant gets any longer and any annoying any more annoying I have forgotten how to speak because I'm just tired. Your Jacob will probably look cursed too. Um, just look away if you're comfortable. I looked away. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hopefully, if you 
know people are recording your footage also you do not get corrupt footage i wish that you do not get corrupt footage in your general direction bye everyone